welcome back to the channel. So, welcome to 2023, and starting off this year, we're going to be doing a unboxing video from Portsmouth Tarantulas, so hopefully you enjoy, and let's see what we got. So I opened up the first box, and we've got a leaflet here. So this is the Southeast Arachnid Show, on the 29th of January, 2023, 11am to 5pm. Um... Obviously, this is in the UK, so yeah, I thought I'd include this in the video. So that's the Arachnid show. Now let's unbox this. So we have some sweets, as you can see. Um, I believe this is a thing that Portsmouth Trenches are doing. They'll send a packet of sweets or something when you order from them. So in here contains three Arboreal starter kits. So these are... I think these are 570ml deli cups, so they're good for your juvenile arboreal tarantulas. Um, that's the tarantula there, um, which is in the corner of the screen. So we've got three of these pots, as you can see, and that's what they look like. You do have to make your own ventilation holes, but that's not a problem. A disco dirt, which is cocoa fibre. A small pair of tongs. A pipet, which I did need for doing my slings and stuff. And some lids for the deli cups. And I thought that was it, but as I was obviously making sure that was everything, I found these. So these are the Portsmouth Tranchula water bowls. You get three of them. You get a red one, a green one, and an orange one. I do think these look pretty cool though. And I will use one in the <coughs> enclosure that we're going to be doing today. So yeah, three water dishes, three arboreal starter kits, um, one pipette, one pair of tongs, and a disco deck. So yeah, that's everything in the box. Here is the tarantula. So I got a piece of area ornata, the fringe ornamental. Uh, I believe this was eight, nine, eight to nine centimeters. So a good size tarantula. So I have already made the enclosure. It's just some potting soil, sphagnum moss, a piece of cork bark, and one of those water dishes. I did use the hot glue gun and stick it to the cork bark. So, as you can see, you can see her in the pot here. Now, what I was going to do was take the tissue out and leave the pot in there so she can come out. And normally I don't really do that. I like to get the tranches out so I can get a good look of them and stuff. But... Um, with these deli cups, you don't get a lot of room, so that's why I thought I will, you know, just take the tissue out and let her come out herself. But as I was doing that, she decided to come out as well. So, obviously not a bad thing, but with pokies, you never know how they're going to act. They could either be defensive, you know, skittish, or they could be really calm, like she is now. And she was really chilled, which I was quite surprised about. Um, I've never had a pokey... I know, unboxing that's been this chill before. I normally, you know, when I get them out, they'll bolt around the enclosure or something like that. So I think she is definitely the first to come out as calm as what she is. I don't think any of my other ones was this chilled. Um, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure she's the only one that's been this chilled before in an unboxing. But yeah, this rehousing hasn't gone exactly as planned as I wanted it to. She decided to come out and she decided to stay where she was for about a good 10 minutes, which was quite surprising. I was hoping she would go down into her court bath and that would be it. I can just put the lid on. But the good thing is, about her being where she is, I can get a nice good close-up and some photos. Um, I will now show you a good close-up of this tarantula. As you can see. Very cool looking tarantula. I am hoping this is a female. And apparently with these tarantulas, you can sex them by looking at them. So if you look at the carapace, um, I believe it's where the eyes are. If it's dark, like they have a really like dark bit where the eyes. If it's dark, it's a female. And if there's no dark markings, then it's a male. I'm pretty sure that is right, as you can see. Uh, oh, come, leave a comment down below if I was wrong about the sexing on these. I'm pretty sure that was 
what it was. If they got the dark mark in, then it's a female. If it's if there's no mark in, then it's a male. So as you just seen a second ago, she bolted. That was because I was trying to rem remove the tissue and hope she'll move slowly and maybe go into the enclosure. Obviously she didn't do that. So I did try to catch up her, it didn't work. Uh, don't worry though, I did manage to get her. Um, I couldn't put it on the camera because my tripod was broke. So I'm using this, my Exo Terra, and putting my phone on top and putting it down. But I managed to get her. I didn't get no fret posture at all from this tarantula through the entire time of obviously rehousing her. But she was just very scarce and a little bit boaty. But I got her back in. So that is near enough the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Very quick. I know it's not, you know, very detailed like my normal ones. But I will do a care and husbandry video on this tarantula soon. Um, but a few little, you know, top five little things about this tarantula. Also, the scientific name is the Pisciferia ornata. These are an old world, so you do have to be careful. These are from, you know, the forest in Sri Lanka. That is where they come from. Female tarantulas, um, well, female Pisciferia ornatas will live to about 12 years. Males will live about three years. Also, these are an arboreal tarantula, so they would prefer to live up high rather on the ground. So I think that covers about everything. I know this hasn't been, you know, full of information like my other videos are, but I will do a care and husbandry video on this tarantula, so stay tuned for that. Also, if you are new to my channel, welcome. This is a channel where I do rehousing, unboxing, and care and husbandry videos on tarantulas. So if you like that type of content, subscribe if you want to. So I think that's a good point to end. So if you like this video, give it a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. I do just want your opinions. Drop a comment down below and let me know what you think. Hit the subscribe, hit the share, and hopefully I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.